on out. <laughs> Opening shot. <laughs> You're like, why did I do that? Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are back on the 52 Chevy. This time we're going to be working on the passenger side running boards. The standard size running board for a 52 Chevy is roughly about 75 inches. Being that we are building a shorty truck, it's going to be down to right around 55, 56 inches. So we have a lot of cutting, welding, and shaping of the running board to fit between the front fender and the rear fender. I want it to fit nice and smooth, nice and even along the bottoms of both fenders. So let's get to it. So this is what the stock running board looks like for the passenger side. Um, we're gonna be cutting it down significantly and I do have some rot right around this location right here. So we're gonna try to cut along the good metal right here and then cut back a little ways right here and actually cut this piece out. Being that we are shortening it, then we can just weld this right back to here again. This is the little splash apron that goes between the running board and the, the body of the truck. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this piece off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Get it out of our way. Looks like there's four bolts right around this location, but they are pretty rusted. So I'm guessing these are just going to end up breaking off. So we're going to try to get this piece off. Um, do that right now. This ratchet has seen better days. It's time to get this replaced, but it is a craftsman, so. Take it back to Sears or Lowe's and they should replace it. So there's a little splash apron that goes on the running boards. It's actually in pretty good shape. There's only two little holes right here, which can easily be patched up. It's actually even pretty smooth. So we're probably gonna end up cutting this down in half, if not even smaller than half, and using half of it on the passenger side, half of it on the driver's side. Um, I do not have one for the driver's side, but this is actually in good enough shape where we can actually make this work for both sides. We're gonna try to get this little bolt out here, these two bolts and these two bolts out. That will get this completely ready to mock up in place. Um, the underside looks like it's going to be good enough. I should have a good enough metal to actually cut and weld back to where we want it. The width of this looks like it's going to be perfectly fine if we do shorten it. Um, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. This actually is going to be a lot easier than I was expecting. exactly how we need it. We're going to reuse this cap right down around this area. All the metal nice and good here. And we'll just weld it right back in.
end off, the idea is to shorten this running board this way, take this end piece and weld it back into place where we need that to go to complete the length. Um, this is the worst part, it's the part that's going to go, which works out in our favor because the rest of it's really good. Now we have to do measure, 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 measure 30 times, cut one time in theory. Pretty much these two are going to tack together like this. Got to smooth out the edges just a little bit. I want an angle on this one, so we're going to have to probably weld in a little bit there. But essentially, that's what it's going to look like when it's done and cleaned up. It should look really good. And you'll never even know we shortened them if everything goes to plan. Pick up this really cool mini belt sander. It's about a quarter inch wide from Harbor Freight. And it works great for getting a little groove that you can't get into with your flappy wheel.
now we're going to focus on working on the driver's side running board. There's a lot more rot on this board, so we're going to try to cut as much of that out when we're actually making it shorter. So we're going to start that now. All right, to get everyone caught up to what we have going on right now, the running board for the driver's side has been shortened right here. You can see the splice, the seam. We're going to finish cleaning that up later. And there was a bunch of rot, um, a lot of holes in the running board, which I cut out right here. I actually had this, the other running board that was actually in decent shape that came with the truck. I was able to cut out a piece that fits. It's going to fit perfectly right in there. We're just going to right along here with the old MIG welder. Get that all situated so by the time we grind this smooth again you shouldn't really be able to tell that we patched it. So that's the goal. That's what we're working on right now.
bracket now. This is what bolts to the bottom of the running board. We're going to bolt on the brackets that we welded the bolts to now. Set this on the running board, mark where it's going to get welded to, clean up the running board, tack this onto the running board. We're almost done with one side. Okay, so right here we have two pieces of plywood we're going to use as our spacer for the running board. The running board is sitting flat, it's perfectly level with the rear fender right now, and it's perfectly level with the ground all the way across. So we're using the two pieces of plywood as our spacer right now. I'm going to tape the plywood in place on the floor so it doesn't move. I'm going to trace the running board out and mark where the brackets are underneath so I know where to actually put the bracket back on this board to create the brackets to go from the running board bracket to the actual frame. So that's what we're gonna do right now with the tape. Now we lift the running board bracket off of the boards. We put the other bracket back down. We gotta be careful taking this off or we do not move the boards. So now we take the bracket we made earlier off the running boards onto the plywood boards. And this sets in place right here. So I just need to measure an inch inwards, and that's where this bracket will sit. And then I know exactly how far I need to cut these from the running board bracket to the actual bracket on the truck. Right about there is where this would go. I did build it with a little bit of wiggle room just in case I need some adjusting. But that's where that bracket is going to sit. So now, I need to, before I, done, I did this, I should have done the brackets on the cart because this might end up moving now. Uh, we're going to try to keep it from moving, but we'll do our best. We'll see what happens. So right here is where the first bracket's going to go. I need to mark where I'm going to drill the holes, get that bolted into place. And then we're going to get the front side one bolted into place, where that's going to go. We set the running board frame back in place, then we measure from here to the actual bracket, cut the pieces that go between the two, which is one by three, and then we cut those, lay them in place, weld everything together. Once everything's welded together and in place, take the plywood out, set the running boards back onto the brackets, bolt everything in place, and we should be relatively done with the running boards on this side. So that's where that one's going. There's four holes, 
one, two, three, four, and then up here is where the other one's going to go. But right here, this section right here is at actually at an angle right here. So the bracket's going to go right here. This rubber's in my way. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Right there. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Now I need to drill these four holes out, bolt this bracket into place. Alright everyone, that's going to be a wrap for this video. The running board brackets have been completed, the running boards are shortened, and on the truck, everything's fitting really nicely. We just have to bolt the bolts up underneath them. That's going to come after the truck was back together for assembly. So right now, everything is completed, everything came out really great. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification icon down below so you know when future videos do come out. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.